Just can't wait to get in my boat again. All right, we're gonna try this. Oh, I thought it fell backwards. That would have been cute. picture of that. Oh man, you got me strapped in here. That boat. Kind of go over to that side and let me. No, but I got my head on a swivel. That is. He used a heavier. And he supplied the wood for three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It's heavier than the uh, original, like it's thicker wood. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm smart enough to take care of it and not have to worry about it. Anymore. trouble just going, hey, you're on the water now. Just relax. I'm sitting up like this, like, uh, uh. you know, I can't, I'm, I'm having to force myself to sit back and relax and enjoy the paddle. Well, probably what it is is you're not in the front and you're stressing about getting up in front of everybody. Well, no, actually, I do want to get up here and get some footage on this back point camera of y'all paddling toward me. That's cool. That's valid. You got them on already? Yeah. Now Josh has to loosen his belt. Uh, well, we'll just stop for lunch on day one. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to do any narration or anything in videos. 
it's been. Go, 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 go. We got up. Didn't sleep the greatest last night. Um, stayed in the tent. It was way too, way too moony. My gosh, the moon was so bright last night. Um, and so I finally had to get up at 2 o'clock this morning and put my rain fly on. Slept a little better after that. It was like somebody was shining a dang flashlight in your eyes. Then we got to the shuttle this morning. And we had had some miscommunications, so we had to wait about 20 minutes for our shuttle driver to get there. So we were later getting on the water than we wanted. So we have just been hunting. We're trying to make up some time. We got 14 miles to do. All of it with the wind right in our face and against the current. People don't think there would be current in a swamp, but there's a pretty good bit actually. And so we're doing trying to do 13 miles here, or no, 14 miles. I think we've just passed the third mile marker. Stop for lunch. We're averaging between two and three miles per hour. Oh, here comes some folks out in the boat. Let's see, that's interesting. Okay. Fixing the fuss at Josh for bumping into me and I bump into you. Oosh! Watch my camera. <laughs> that, that big splash of water went right by the camera. <laughs> Our I may not be able to see me. I don't know how to look at this video. But the Shuttle driver had some really cool stories. He was pretty awesome. He was talking about how. I bet that truck with the boat was probably them. Yeah, had to be. How Mall Hammock got its name. Supposedly, a group of Seminole Indians, Native Americans, came in here as a hunting party. And they killed what they described as a Bigfoot. And that night in camp, another Bigfoot came into the camp and mauled four of them, killing four of them, and took the body. And Josh has been a not nice person. He's bunk drafting back there. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> then a, they took the body of whatever they had had killed. Oh, got my paddle. And so the Native Americans would not come back into this area of the swamp. So here we go.
No. This burned uh, the year that we had the big drought. Okay. Um, like two thirds of the park or the refuge burned. So that would have been about three, two or three years ago. Yeah. You can see it's, it's underbrush is coming back, but those trees, there's no coming back for them. Some of these cypress are persevering, but. Yeah. This has not been the easiest paddle. Not the worst we've ever done by any stretch. Hey, Josh. What's the worst paddle we've ever done? Probably the slide. Going from Floyd's Island, the so called shortcut to Big Water, that we turned the slide because we had to basically pull our way through it. It was, it was, it was rough. I'd say that's the way. We didn't have our next boats then either. We were in we were in bigger boats, so we even had more water displacement. It didn't help. Man, that was rough. Yeah, it would have been for several reasons. One, look how high that paddle goes up. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. We'd probably had to break down our paddle. If we didn't have a regular paddle with us. Yep. Which I don't. Josh does, but I don't. I don't often lift mine at home. I'm seeing the first green tree. It's not a little cypress shoot. Fixing to pass by the first green tree I've seen. Probably close to a mile. Maybe a little more. This area was devastated by the wildfires. But Mama Nature, she's a resilient one. It's coming back. But it ain't gonna come back quick enough to get this sun off my back of my neck. I cannot believe we're a third of the way in. Oh, look at that pretty purple iris. There's another one right back. Yep. I can't believe we're a third of the way in and haven't seen the first gator. You know what it is? You know why there's no gators through here? Why? Bigfoot. Bigfoot's down there in that heat. Bigfoot is the only predator that they have. He hides up here in the grass and when they swing, swim by in the canals, he jumps up and gives them the atomic elbow with such force that it crushes their skull. And then he just, and then he just jumps and he can jump way back over through there. And so we don't see any, we don't see any damage to the, canal or to the brush or anything he just bigfoot he just he'll jump and land over there about 30 or 40 feet where we can't see and that's where all the alligator carcasses are first one of the trip
Well, he's kind of crossing the water now, it looks like. He got a three, four footer. Well, me and Josh have just been killing ourselves trying to set a pace. We paddled as hard as we could paddle through these lily pads. Let's see how long it would take us to do a mile. We thought surely we'd passed a mile five minutes back. It took us 20 minutes to do a mile, which is three miles an hour. And we were paddling as hard as we could paddle. Um, I don't know how far back the rest of the guys are. Um, they're in canoes, so it takes them a little longer. But they're probably not that far behind us, so I don't know if it's worth the trouble of trying to key yourself. Do you, Josh? No, not really. Whew. Was you wanting some sunscreen? Yeah, I'll get some in a little bit. <clears throat> okay. I found another good use for my gear line. It's great for that. Just clip it on whatever, clip it onto the boat beside you. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> um. Uh-oh. Josh? I sent that picture of me and you to both of our wives. Yeah. Your wife sent back a picture of her feet with shoes on that says, I got my shopping shoes on. That ain't good. So while we're in the swamp, Misty is. And Micah sends me a picture of the dog. Hope you're having fun. We are having fun. <laughs> Back just a little ways is a sign that says Ohio Lake, and it's about that much of it sticking up out of the water. Um, we'd heard the water level was up, which is a good thing because it's been down for uh, it was down for several years, and it's one of the main reasons we've never made this trip to Mall Lake. They're all running off and leaving me, but that's okay. They're not going to go too far, um, but I am putting on. I've had my shirt and shoes off for, I don't know, probably just about 30 minutes. But I'm putting it back on because I do not want to get putting sunscreen on my feet and legs because I do not want to get burned and the rest of the trip be miserable. Because this is day one. I don't want to get burned at all. It's not good for you. And Sam Mama will whoop me when I get home because the water level was down for so long. And, uh, you know, as you know, if you watch the weather, they had a couple of big hurricanes that come down through here. And those hurricanes dropped a lot of water on this area and raise the swamp level back up. Uh, another thing that we noticed is somewhere between mile six and seven, we're between seven and eight. So somewhere around mile six or mile seven, the water flow changed. We were paddling against the flow and then all of a sudden looked down and noticed that the algae Trailing from the stalks of the lily pads, the algae trailing from the stalks of the lily pads was trailing the same direction we were going instead of trailing toward us. And so, we, like just then, I stopped and you know, I got. It's just that little bit of time I got moved down a little bit. It's not a like a big current by any means, but it it's uh, it's noticeable that it has changed. 
So I think it's somewhere right at mile seven. But we are in the area known as Ohio Lake. And we're headed toward Mall Lake. No, Mall Hammock. Oh, there's a bird nest right there. I bet that was, it's an old one, this early one, but I bet that was a red winged blackbird. I had my guess, just from looking at the structure. Um, I wish I could pan that thing around, but there's lily pads on both sides, probably. Gosh, I don't know. Just from what I can see right here, all the way in either direction probably somewhere around a hundred acre field here, or lake it's just full of lily pads and they've got a <laughs> apparently they have a pole right here marking the outlet and then a way across the field or the lake over there I see another pole so you gotta paddle through these lily pads this camera shut off while ago I'm gonna see if I can can't get it to come back on I don't know what the deal is surely it's not already full or got a dead battery I'm just gonna turn these on as I'm going through these lily pads Ohio Lake. Um, I don't see a living tree anywhere in sight because they're about 10 or 12 feet tall. So I'm going to say that this was another area that was hit hard by the fire. I see off in the distance, I see lots and lots of dead standing trees. I guess the battery's gone on that one already. I thought I had it fully charged, but we'll go with this. We go through a wide open spot, and we go through spaces like this that we can't, that you can't hardly paddle a kayak in, because the brush is so close. Like I have to pick and choose my, my lines for my paddle up over this limb, under that limb, and uh, it's, uh, it gets, yeah, I had a paddle get stuck in a limb while ago, and come back and bop me in the mouth, yeah, there's another reason, I think if I'd have been going fast, that could have hurt, but I wasn't going fast, so I just felt like a dummy, glad that none of the rest of them saw that. Need to be sure to edit this out so they never learn of it. That's the power you have when you're the one that does the filming and the editing.